Yo, what's up guys? Throw here here to bring you Skate Dance episode 56 review. Skate Dance, what's so awesome? Um, <laughs> I actually meant to record this yesterday, but getting some shit situated with my channel. Wasn't really sure what things I couldn't, if I could upload yesterday. Which is why I'm uploading almost most of the videos I planned to upload the day before today. Uh, like the the raping Russians and the Johnny Bravo video on my main channel, um, got most of the stuff situated, but I can I know I can upload. <clears throat> now, in terms of this episode, I actually did enjoy it a lot, and it seems like a, and surprisingly, I didn't think a lot of people would be a fan of this, but a lot of people like the biscuit dance, uh, the biscuit dance sections, period. Because I mean, this isn't the first time it's appeared, and I knew biscuit dance wasn't was in the manga because I've seen like random chapters on it. I think what they did is they just had Biscuit Dance run during random parts of this episode because they couldn't find an episode to correlate with this. Considering this is a more serious episode, I guess in the best way I can explain it, we finally got to see what a one chapter of the manga would look like in an episode. And that's what it looks like. It's like fucking 12 minutes. Which is why we had like three or four fucking Biscuit Dance parts even though it's, it honestly felt like one long cohesive story honestly um but addressing the whole episode it, the, the the serious portion really what it is is kind of exploring the whole switch and momoka thing which honestly i don't know if it, if it was just me but it kind of felt like it came out of left field kind of i mean there's been subtle hints to the momoka stuff mocha x switch stuff but for the most part it's it this is kind of the first episode that really explores it and honestly, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the whole premise behind it is, is that Switch has been supporting Mo Momoka through like all her concerts. Uh, all of her concerts, honestly. I felt like there was more to that sentence than there wasn't. <laughs> and he's there with, uh, I believe his name is Okara-kun. Ot Otakara? I, I, can't, I cannot pronounce the dude's name. I always forget. The Otaku dude. Um, and wins up happening is there's like this contest and if you win the contest you get to come backstage with like a whole bunch of other fans um and switch actually wins <coughs> but he's hyped for the next day and he's getting ready to you know create another banner f for the momoka gathering and his computer breaks down not the laptop but his computer his computer breaks down so he goes out to find parks to fix it uh leaving boss and himiko a note while he's going out looking for parts, he's kind of thinking about giving up, and then he's re-inspired by looking at a Momoka poster. And then some dude accidentally bumps into him, which breaks his laptop, so now he can't speak. So we get like this section of the episode that's pure comedy because Switch can't speak without his laptop. So he has to resort to writing his messages down on like a fucking notepad. Not, not the program notepad, like an actual notepad. And it's actually pretty funny. Um, for a few reasons. The first reason is because the, 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 he, you would think Switch wouldn't be able to troll now because he has to write down everything. But there's like a portion where like Switch and Himiko are asking him questions. And he, there's like this one portion where he takes, is a joke through the episode, where he takes really, really long to write something and it turns out to be a simple phrase. For example, uh, what was it? I forget what Switch, because what it, okay, what originally happened is Momoka came to visit because she did see a glimpse of Switch leaving from the beginning of the episode. She came to visit Skit Dan when he was out looking for parts for his big computer, which is how Balsu and Himiko found out about her having a concert. And then they got mad at Switch because Switch was, you know, wasn't there. Well, the next day it's kind of like Switch kind of goes to explain his own morality thing. He's never mentioned anything to Momoka about being at every one of her concerts. Honestly, he doesn't think Momoka even sees him because he doesn't try to make his presence known to Momoka that she come she and she, he doesn't get any special privileges. Like he doesn't ask to go backstage. <coughs> and the reason why he won the contest isn't because he's acquaintances with Momoka. It's because uh Okara kun sent in like a hundred postcards for it. Switch sent in five hundred handwritten. And that's why that's why he won. He won through the merit. He won through legitimate means. And he actually kind of got mad at Boston and Himiko for just trying to take, uh, just trying to take the tickets that Momoka was offering. It's like, 
shouldn't you be getting them through the proper channels? And you know, in which case, that was this whole thing. But I believe Switch, like, like him, it goes like, well, what's the point of going to the things? What's the point of going to the concerts if Momoka doesn't know? And he's like, what, well, what can I say? I'm a fan. It's like, but why don't you? It's like, <laughs> but that's stupid. You know, she, she, you should tell her that you're supporting her. And, and Hima goes kind of freaking out. And he takes this really long time to write this answer. And you're thinking it's going to be a really serious answer. And all it is is a, like a picture of a teddy bear with a, with a speech bubble. And the fucking kanji says, now, now. You know, like, now, now, now. Calm down kind of shit. And that was just fucking ridiculous because it was literally him trolling. I love the fact that he was still trolling even when he couldn't, you know, use his laptop to speak. But anyways, we go back. Oh, yeah. And the Yuki shit. Yuki. <laughs> Yuki comes in there and freaks the fuck out of it. Freaks the shit out of everybody. And on top of that, asks to switch to get uh, an autograph from Momoka. And he's like, no. And he's like, <laughs> but he's like, but, but apparently Yuki. And this is what kind of throws me off. It's like, it's supposed to be a Switch X Momoka episode, but they keep pushing the Yuki shit. Because the Yuki, the Yuki pairing is the more obvious one than the Momoka pairing. Which I guess as the question for this review, which one, which pairing do you prefer? Mo Momoka X Switch or Yuki X Switch? Honestly, Skate Dance is one of the few shows I wouldn't mind either pairing. Like the same thing for Balsun. I wouldn't mind Himiko or Saya because I like both of the characters. Uh, I haven't had a problem, honestly. And the same thing for Switch. I wouldn't really mind. I think Momoka X Switch would be cuter. But I think Yuki X Switch would be funnier. Um, but anyway, she asks him to get an autograph for her. Because apparently she became a fan through watching one of her... I think it's a play or a movie. I believe it's a movie. But anyways, we go to the day of the concert. And now he's there uh, supporting her like usual. And I'm not going to lie. I would kind of like to hear like a full single of Momoka. Because like whoever's voice actor who's a, uh, the seiyu for Momoka sings really well. Like the whole Marshu, Marshu, Marshmallow. Like she's saying Marshmallow, but it's like Marshmallow, Marshmallow. It's like the it's like the English way of saying it. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Also, I like the I, I thought it was kind of funny. She still keeps the uh, Momotan personality a little bit. Like you could you could still hear it. Like at the end of the concert, she's like, uh, "What she? What was it like? It was like lovely beam, and she like had her hand out like that and shot it. It was ridiculous." But um, Switch asked, since he did win the postcard thing, can I come backstage? And Momoka texts him back saying, sure. Uh, but what happens is, is that some other guy gets through thinking that Switch, and it's not, trying to get her autograph, but he looks like a really otaku crazed fanboy. You know how, like, the Japanese fan, it's like the, essentially the otaku for, for Japanese pop idols. He's like he's like a really fat, greasy dude going. I want, I want her autograph. Let me give up a lot of why. <laughs> and he tries to run up on her, breaking through the guard. And you just see fucking Switch be like, he, he he doesn't he doesn't have his marker, so he can't like write any more phrases. So he has to take where he, what he's already written. So he's like, I forget what, what did it say. It was like, stop right there, some shit. And it was like. Who are you? He's like, oh, no, 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 that's my friend. And then, you know, he reuses the one saying, oh, I'm a friend of a, I'm acquainted to Momoka, uh, Momoka. What's the problem? And then Momoka has to say that that's Switch, not the other dude. And he tried, and this nigga tried to run up on Switch. Like, Switch with him about to whoop his ass. That's what I thought was funny. This nigga went, <laughs> this nigga, nigga tried to run up on Switch. It was just like, bah, and just tripped his ass. And he tried to get up. Who are you? And this nigga put a sign in his face going, Goodbye forever. Because he said that for Yuki when she crawled out of the window looking so goddamn crazy. And it's just like, Yeah, that's my boy. I swear to God. Like, I, I bet you folks Jason would have liked the hell out of this episode. Because it's, it's a Switch episode. And I love Switch. Uh, but anyways, we get past that. And now it's just Switch and Momoka talking outside. This is kind of where the episode gets kind of serious. Where she... Where she calls him out, saying that she she's known that he's she's seen him in every concert she's done. That Switch has been supporting her, even though Switch hasn't said anything, and she wants to know why. And he's just like, I, "What can I say? I'm a fan." But obviously, Momoka has one of those typical shoujo reactions, like, 
wait, by fan, do you mean? And he's like, <laughs> and he, you know, I don't think, it's kind of funny that you, you know, like, what is it, like almost seven episodes ago, he's talking how he understands how Boston and Himiko's relationship are, isn't, it's past friend, but beneath, like, dating, and like how he can see that. But he can't see the, his own situation, which kind of goes into the whole thing that people tend to be able to recognize other people's relationship issues, but they can't realize their own. And that always happens. Um, I'm assuming the Saya shit in, high school, in School Rhapsody is probably going to do the same thing. Maybe make Himi Like how Himiko is aware that Saya has a crush on Balsum before anyone else is. But at the same time, it's like... She isn't aware of her own feelings for Boston. Uh, but anyways, it's kind of like this cool emotional moment between Mo Momoka and Switch. And it's kind of like the conversation's about over and like they're about to walk away. And he's like, and he grabs her by the shoulder, which is a very powerful thing considering Momoka has a mild sense of maybe Switch likes her like that. Um, and that's just for a marker. And he does this, he, he, writes this, he writes for a really long time. And Momoka's like, is he about to confess to me through a fucking sketch pad or some shit? And what he ends up writing is, can I get your autograph? <laughs> and it's like a what the fuck moment. Um, obviously, the autograph is for Yuki. Um, but afterwards, um, afterwards, she's like, can, can you do me a favor? So essentially what happened, and it's kind of funny. His, his laptop is fixed in the next scene, and Yuki's shaking him out of gratitude. Uh, the favor he did for the sketchbook, though, is that he gave the sketchbook to Momoka, and he signed, he, he actually autographed it. There's like, uh, it's the one where he's saying, what can I say, I'm a fan. No, 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 it's like either, I just want to show my support to Momoka, and then he wrote, like, he signed his name, and Momoka's like, continue to keep supporting me, Switch. And it kind of just, and that was the end of the series portion. The rest of this is Biscuit Dance. Which I thought was funny. There's a few things I, I could call on it. How the continuity doesn't make any sense. Because in the biscuit dance portion. Like baby. Baby Subaki acts like old school Subaki. Like what he was before the whole happy birthday stuff. But everyone else. Is about the same. Like if you're, like you're going to have them as babies. Boston shouldn't be wearing the hat or goggles. Uh, Himiko's hair should be black instead of blonde switch shouldn't have the laptop or his, or the glasses he shouldn't be dressed like old like new school switch and i know that's kind of something dumb to harp on i'm just saying but i do like how they kind of did the whole boston subaki brother thing connection thing i thought that was nice i don't understand why out of every character uh, all, all the characters you could have used and maybe it's just because of the chapters why in the flying fuck is it that you have Agata, Yabasan, and fucking Unyu are like the only adult characters, and then you have like Michiru, Daisy, Himiko, Captain, Dante, which Dante just confuses the shit out of me, because they don't make any jokes with Dante. Uh, Balsun, uh, Switch, who am I missing? Tsubaki, I'm missing somebody. I feel like those are the only characters they showed, and I was like, and honestly, I think maybe, I hope in later later biscuit dance. I hope they do biscuit dance more often. Uh, but I would like to see more like of the other cast. Like they didn't. I'm surprised Shinzo wasn't in there. I'm surprised Roman wasn't in there. Uh, a lot of people like biscuit dance. I would like to see the other ones. Like I like to see baby Shinzo, baby Roman. Maybe have Roman be like a, a, another. Well, they probably would need another male character. Have, have Shinzo be... No, because Shinzo would suck as, like, a, as a keeper of children. Maybe have Roman or Shinzo be, like, one of the uh, counselors and have, like... Or either that, baby Roman, baby Shinzo, baby Koma, baby Saya, baby Uchida. He doesn't necessarily need to be in there, but I think that would be nice. Um, I don't know, just use more of the side characters. But... The biscuit dance stuff was cool. I like the Sasuke thing. I keep forgetting. It's kind of weird to call Tsubaki Sasuke. Just because of how popular that name is in anime. But, you know, it's cool. I thought it was cute. Um, as I said, in terms of the ages, that, that that's not canon at all. 
Also, what I hope they do, and I know they're not going to do this, but it'd be hilarious. If they were to make like a random special doing the uh, the, the, the uh, fan favorite characters in the series, because they did a chapter on that in the manga I ended up reading. And that would have been, that would be funny as hell in the anime. They're not going to, but it'd be funny as hell and it'd be awesome. But uh, I've rambled on for enough. This video is going on for 15 minutes. Tell me what you guys think. As I said, the question is, which parent do you prefer more, Yuki X Switch or, or Switch X Momoka? Uh, me personally, I kind of like both. As I said, I think Yuki, I think Momoka one would probably be sweeter, but I think the Yuki one would probably be hilarious. Because they've actually explored the Yuki one a few a little bit. This is like the first Momoka theme pairing thing. But now we know the canon behind some of the scenes in the fucking opening. And next week we're gonna get the You Got Mail thing, which apparently I know in the manga is like two or three chapters. We'll see how that goes. I know we're gonna finally get Shinzo back. I don't know if he's the headliner, but I see Sai is there, and I know Sai is a canon in that, so it's probably actually another Shinzo. They need to stop beating on Shinjo with the whole Shinzo doesn't have a girlfriend crap. Because this is like the fourth, this will be like the the like the fifth time we've seen this happen with Shinzo. But I'm rambling now, so, uh, you know, this has been the Vlogs Game for your boy Terrell. Thoughts, comments, you know, answering the questions in the comment section below. Thank you for the support, and I'll catch you guys later. Skate Dance, what's so awesome? P-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-